Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to create this model in CATIA part design. So for that, just I will enter into part design by using start and let's say OK. Now, first I am going to create this profile on front view. So on front plane, I will go for sketch here. Now we are having here, just I will draw one rectangle and I will create this part. Then entire part I will make it here mirror of downside. So just I will use one center point rectangle like this. Then by using profile, I will create one line from here like this. Up to somewhere here I will keep it. Now same profile we need downside. Just I will go here selection of multiple sketches by holding control. Then I need to make that mirror with reference to this horizontal axis. Then I will go here with quick trim. Just I will trim this unwanted elements which we don't want. Now relation between this line to this line we are having here parallelism. Just give that relation. Then later to that here extra line we are having just I will trim that. Now we will go here with the dimensions. So this height we are having here 14. So by using constraint height we are having for this 14. Then dimension from this origin point to this end we are having here. As you can see from origin point to this end we are having here total radius of 25. So from this end to this origin we are having here length of 25. So just I will adjust the shape like this. Then next to that. We are having here length of 35 from origin point to this starting point 35. So from origin to this point we are having here horizontal dimension of 35. Then next to that as you can see here distance between line to line we are having here 8 mm. Distance between line to line we are having here 8. Then later to that just I will adjust this dimension from this end to this end this height also we are having here 8. So just I will provide here also 8. Then dimension from this top line to bottom line total height we are having here 60. So top to bottom total we are having here 60. Then next to that from origin point to this curve point we are having here 75 from origin to this point we are having here 75 then total length from this origin point to this end point we are having here 100 so just we will give from this to this point we are having 100 but extra here we are having with radius of 12 so total length we will take 100 plus 12 112 so just I will provide here 112 length just say exit workbench to come out of sketch. Now in front view we are having this shape. Then if you are seeing that object from top view we are having this profile. So just I will use here position sketch and I need to create sketch on top plane. So to make it proper orientation just I will make this swap and reverse vertical horizontal vertical. Let's say OK. Now from origin we are having here one circle with radius of 25. So just I will create one circle here with radius of 25. One more circle we are having here with radius of 12 and a distance between origin to this circle center point we are having 100. So just I will create one more circle here with radius of 12. Dimension from origin point to this circle center point we are having here length of 100 then one inclined line we need tangent to this and tangent to this so whenever we are having any line tangent to both profiles at a time in that case you can go here with by tangent line which is available under line option so i will click on by tangent between this circle to this circle then same line we need downside just we will make it here mirror with reference to this horizontal axis. Then to make it a single closed profile just I will trim this unwanted elements. 
now if i check here it is showing iso constraint and you can see geometry it is a closed profile just go here with exit workbench now we need to add material between these two views which are on different planes by using this solid combine option so just i will go here with solid combine first profile is this second profile is this just go for preview material will be added let's say okay so directly we are able to add material between two views or two profiles which are on different planes like this then next to that we will go here with pockets nothing but removal of material so for that just i will go for sketch on this face swap reverse vertical so if you create sketch on this face directly we are able to remove material with these two shapes at a time or else separately we need to create one sketch here and separately we need to sketch one more pocket here so directly i am going to draw sketch here on top now i will create this profile for this we are having diameter of 36 circle from origin we are having here one circle with diameter of 36 then next to that we need to create this rectangular profile for reference we are having here with inclination of 45 degrees so just i will create one axis line somewhere here like this then angle between inclined line to horizontal axis we are having here inclination of 45 degrees then next to that i will use here profile to create that shape just one inclined line again like this i will go here with quick trim trim this unwanted elements what we don't want then dimension between this line to line width we are having here 10 so this width we are having here 10 now if i try to move these profiles these profiles are able to move freely and here also relation is missing now as we can see here from this end to this circle end we are having length of 40 so just i will go for dimension for this line to this curve in this direction we are having length of 40 and you can try to move this it is able to move freely now total length 10 we have given from line to line but with reference to this center one we have not provided anything so here we need to apply relation called symmetric symmetric is nothing but whatever the distance we are having from this center line to this one same it will be distributed to other side also equally so to apply symmetric i will go for constraint select first element select second element so here it is showing as dimension but we don't want dimension we need to apply relation so use mouse right click go here with allow symmetric line so center line is this 45 degrees inclined line just click on that line now it will come as iso constraint profile then next to that this profile also we will create so just we are having here one inclined line i will create one inclined line somewhere here from this just like this same line profile we need one more here i will make it here mirror with reference to this then as you can see one curve is there between this line end point to this line end point with the tangency relation so just i will create one three point arc from point to point like this and relation between this to this we are having here tangency then here also one more curvature we are having so just we will create this one three point arc from this end point to this end point so we need here in this direction then relation between line to line we are having here parallelism then distance between end line to this line we are having 8 mm this to this we need here 8 then next to that we are having here dimension between this curve to this curve horizontally we are having 8 so dimension from curve to curve like this we are having here 8 then dimension from this curve to this end we have given here 8 and we are considering dimension from this end to this origin point so this length we are having 8 so diameter for circle we are having 12 so we will consider as this 6 mm so 8 plus 6 we will get here 14 distance from 
the center point to this end point. Now we need dimension from this curve to this center point, but here we don't have any reference point to take the dimension. In these conditions, just you can rotate the model, and if you go on the cylindrical part, that axis will be shown. So just I will go for constraint. We need to take dimension from this axis to this curve. Like this, we are having here length of 14. Just I will make it here normal. Then, if I try to move this curvature, this curve is able to move freely. As you can see here, center point of this curvature, it is able to move freely. So, here we are having relation between this circle to circle, we are with same center point. In that case, we can apply relation called concentricity like this. Now you have to here if you check it is ISO constraint profile and if I go for geometry both profiles are closer profiles. So exit workbench we will make here pocket. Just I will click on pocket. We need to remove material up to next. Let's say OK. So like this we are able to remove material with that drawn two profiles. Then next to that we will go here with dresser features nothing but applying fillets. So fillet we are having for this corner and this edges we are having here radius of 20. So just I will go for fillet. We need for these two edges along with that we are having same equal 20 radius for these four edges also. Just I will select all these things and we need here with radius of 20. Then next to that here and here we are having with equal radius of 10 mm. So fillet we need for these two, then these two edges, then along with that this sharp edges also we are having with radius of 10. Then next to that as you can see here we are having here fillet radius of 5 mm for this pocket. So fillet we need for this edge and this edge we need here with fillet radius of 5. Then next to that for entire faces we are having here radius of 2 mm fillets. So again I will go for fillet just I will select this outer curve again this outer curve this pocket curve again this pocket curve also. So just I will click this then here also we want now as you can see here like this entire things we need to select. Then here we need radius of only 2 mm. Let's say OK. So in this way you can apply these fillets. Then at the end we are having here one hole with a diameter of 12 mm. This hole should be created exactly center point of this radius 12 curve. So whenever you want to create exactly center point of the curvature then go here with hole. So instead of selecting face First we will select one curve for which curve we want exactly concentric to that center point. Then click on this surface. So we need here diameter of 12 and depth should be up to next. So I will keep it here diameter of 12. Depth I will keep it here up to next. As you can see here if I keep up to next material will be removed only up to this next element. But we need to create this hole up to this one also. So make it here up to last. Let's say OK. Like this you can create this model. Now if you want to apply some color for the part just on part body mouse right click you can go here with properties. Then for example I need to apply some color here yellow color just I will say OK. Now color will be applied for model. So if you want again to apply in advanced colors like for example if you want to give some other color for this edges same we can go here with properties. So yellow color we have applied for this model. For edges we are able to select a different color. For example if I want to apply some pink just I will select pink and I will say OK. Now as you can see entire model will be in yellow color and only edges will be shown in pink color. So in this way you can apply some different colors and we can make our model full colorful. So if you have any queries or anything else just you can comment down into this video. Thanks for watching. Keep supporting.